You see, the basic problem is most people, when they're working on their job, they get to thinking, you know, I really ought to be spending time at home with my family. And then when they're at home with their family, they get to thinking, you really ought to be out there working for my family. And so when they're out there working for their family, their mind is back home. And when they're back home, their mind is back out there in the field. And then they tell everybody, well, I don't ever have time to do anything. No wonder you're always traveling. <laughs> You see, the basic problem is not lack of time, it is lack of direction. We all have exactly the same amount of time, whether we're a millionaire or a pauper. All of us have 24 hours every single day. The truth is, ladies and gentlemen, we must have goals if we're going to do anything. Goals do a lot of things. For example, they enable you to chase the blues away. I've never known anybody who was truly depressed who had specific and long-range goals. And what goals do is they create activity. And you see, activity, as you work towards reaching them, creates the very excitement which you need in order to accomplish or reach your objectives. The psychologist put it this way. Logic will not change an emotion, but action will. And as you get busy working towards these dreams of yours, and yes, you absolutely must have your dreams, ladies and gentlemen, and what we're going to do is look at the ways you build a foundation underneath those dreams. Several years ago, they did an experiment with a number of college students. And in this particular experiment, they let them go to sleep, and they hooked these brain machines up to them. With these brain machines, they could determine precisely within a matter of seconds when the student went to sleep. Then they could tell when that student started to dream. And as the student would start to dream, they would awaken him or her. And then they'd let them go back to sleep, and that is no problem. But when they started to dream, they would awaken them again. And with those brainwave machines, they can tell exactly when they start to dream. At the end of one night of this kind of treatment, many of the students were nervous and fidgety. At the end of uh, two nights of this kind of treatment, where they had a reasonable amount of sleep, but no dreaming, they became very irritable and very short and very cross. At the end of just three nights of a reasonable amount of sleep, but no dreaming, they could tell that some of them were headed for some psychological difficulties. And so what they did was they aborted the experiment. Now, about 24 hours later, most of the students were back to normal. Within a week, all of them had returned 100%. But the experiment proved something very conclusively, and that's this. When you're asleep, ladies and gentlemen, you need your dreams. I'm here to tell you that when you're wide awake, you also need your dreams. You must have your goals. You'll never make it as a wandering generality. You must become a meaningful specific. If you're going to work tomorrow because that's what you did yesterday, you're not going to be as good tomorrow as you were yesterday because now you're two days older and no closer to the goal which you do not have. You can't make it as a wandering generality. Most people understand you've got to become a meaningful specific. It reminds me of an experiment done some little while ago by Jean-Henri Fabre, the great French naturalist. He took a number of processionary caterpillars, so named because they follow each other in a procession, and he lined them around a flower pot until they formed a never-ending circle. And they started going round and round 24 hours that first day. And then they went the next day and the next, and by the, about the third or the fourth day, he put some pine needles into the center of that flower pot. That's the food of the processionary caterpillar. They kept going round and round, seven full days and seven full nights. They went round and round until they literally drop dead from starvation and exhaustion. With an abundance of food less than six inches away, they had starved to death because they confused activity with accomplishment. You've got some friends that are in the same shape. They're busy, busy, busy all the time. They're going, 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 and they're here and they're there and they're somewhere else, but they never really accomplish anything because they don't have those specific, clearly identifiable objectives. You've got to have those goals.